Welcome to Dagestan, Russia, guys. And today, right here, I'm going to talk about the Mavic 3 Pro and the DJI Air 3S. My prediction about those two drones. Let's go. What's good, guys? My name is Oleg Nikitin, and you're welcome to No Limits On channel. So I'm right here in the Dagestan mountains, and uh, this is the Air 2S. And I'm going to predict what's going to be in the newer generation of those drones. And uh, yeah, these are the great drones, but I would like to see some more advantages in the newer models. So let's go. Let's start off with the Mavic 3 Pro. I predict that this will be the same size and weight as the previous model, Mavic 2 Pro, but maybe it will have uh, the same construction because it's a very, uh, you know, robust and good construction and it's in many of DJI drones. And I predict that it will have a slightly different design and probably some newer colors, like the black color, for instance. Also, guys, I predict that it won't have the 28 millimeter lens. It will have around 24 millimeter lens because 28 is a little too tight for the drone, in my opinion. It looks gorgeous, but uh, I guess it will be around 24, maybe 22 millimeters. And also, it won't have the distortion as the Mavic 2 has because it will be a more advanced optics and more advanced technology. I'm sorry if it's been a little windy right here because in Dagestan, Russia, the weather changes constantly and uh, it was sunny and uh, you know shiny but right now it can get a little winter sorry for that guys i guess it will have one inch sensor maybe 20 or 30 megapixels probably will have 5.4k as in the air 2s or even maybe the 6k i really doubt about 8k guys but maybe we'll have this mm, not sure really 6k is more than enough i guess and also it will have the physical aperture i predict from f2 to f11 probably better ISO performance and a little better dynamic range. I hope so. And of course, 10-bit color. Also, I predict that it will have 4K60 with no digital crop, like downscaled 4K60. Also, I'd like to see the digital sharpness and detail settings, like in the big mirrorless cameras, like in the Sony's, for instance, the detail level, so we can choose the amount of sharpness, of digital sharpness in the picture. Also, I predict that we'll have the 4K crop, for instance, in 4K mode, we can crop in for like 1.5 times or even two times without losing the quality, depending on the megapixels of the sensor. And uh, thus we can have not 24 megapixel, uh, 24 millimeter guys, <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, like 35 millimeter or even 40 millimeter lens on your drone without changing the lenses, without zooming in. Also, I predict that DJI will increase the range, the remote control range connectivity for like eight miles right now. Eminem, hello to you. If you know what I'm talking about, cheers. Good for you. <laughs> also, my prediction is that we'll have a new remote, something with a screen like the Mavic 2 Pro right now, where we can see the distance from the point, uh, the, from the home point, also the speed, also the height and all that stuff. So we can monitor without having the signal where the drone is and put it back to the home point if we lose the signal just using the screen on the remote. Also, I wish that the remote is becoming a little, you know, shrinks down, smaller. And uh, the OcuSync, the next generation of OcuSync will allow us to use it in much more, you know, tougher, in much tougher situations than it is right now. And yeah, I think, I hope it will be the best remote we'll have in the DJI drone right now in this category of small and compact drones. Also, I wish they make 30 minutes of actual flight time, the better battery, because right now we're having around 24, 26, 27 maybe minutes if we, you know, squeeze everything, every little drop of juice from the battery. But I wish they uh, will put the ability to fly 30 minutes straight without, you know, landing the drone and changing the battery. Also, I wish that the new drone will have omnidirectional obstacle avoidance, top, bottom, sides, uh, you know, backwards, forwards, and it is going to work in all modes except for the sport mode. So we can use it in the normal mode, in the tripod mode, in uh, all the smart modes and all that stuff, because right now Mavic 2 Pro doesn't have this ability. It only works in tripod mode and several smart modes like the point of interest. I wish it will be even safer to fly, to fly, to fly, <laughs> to fly this drone. Also, I'd like to see some new intelligent smart modes. Those that are in the Air 2S and the Mavic 2 Pro right now are great modes, but I'd like to see something more innovative, innovative, how do you pronounce it? I'm sorry, I'm Russian, guys. <laughs> and um, yeah, 
better active track, new generation of active track, better safety because uh, the omnidirectional obstacle avoidance will provide us with better uh, safety and overall some more interesting intelligent smart modes. I'd like to see those in the new generation of DJI drones. I also wish that DJI includes more internal memory like 16 gigabytes or even 32 gigs in their new drones and will have uh, you know, no nerves around uh, if you're uh, forgetting the memory card somewhere and you will have a lot of storage in the drone itself. Also, I'd like to see the ND filters kits like ND8, ND4, ND16, ND32, yeah, right? In the base kit, not in the Fly More combo like right now in the Air 2S, but in the real base kit because it's a necessary thing to have. And I'd like DJI to put this thing in a base kit. And the price, I think it will be even higher than right now with the Mavic 2 Pro. I think $1,600 or $1,800 would be a pretty reasonable price for the drone with those characteristics. And now for the sake of fun, let's predict something like a wish list and something uh, not really possible, I guess, in the nearest future, but who knows. So if a Mavic 3 Pro was a wish of every drone pilot, it would have micro four thirds sensor with 24 millimeter f1.8 lens, probably, and the physical aperture or the one inch sensor with 24 to 70 equivalent focal length, uh, length <laughs> range of 2.8 aperture like in the Sony ZV-1 with optical zoom and also with the physical aperture. Also we can have three different cameras like the, in the iPhone uh, 12 Pro Max for instance so the ultra wide, the wide and the telephoto camera with smaller sensors but we can change the focal range in the fly, on the fly, on the go. Then maybe we'll have 6K or 5.4K recording in 60p up to 10 bit, who knows. Then 4K 120 in 10 bit, also who knows, why not. Uh, 32 gigs or 64 gigs of internal memory. And then we'll have the same, uh, you know, wishes as I have in my normal wish list, possible wish list. Uh, the new controller, uh, control over detail and sharpness in your camera. Uh, 4K crop mode up to 1.5x, extended, uh, extended range maybe up to 10 miles, who knows, once again, who knows, who knows, I'm saying who knows <laughs> so many times, guys. Then the new remote with a screen, as I said before, battery life up to 30 minutes, I have no, you know, uh, thoughts about 35 minutes or 40 minutes in such a small drone, I guess 30 minutes, uh, true 30 minutes of flight time is more than enough. Also the new OcuSync system, all around om omnidirectional obstacle avoidance, as I've mentioned before, better intelligent smart, smart modes, set of ND filters in the base kit, and the price around $1,800 to $2,000 for the base kit. And now let's move on to the Air 3S most likely predictions, and then we'll find out if we have some extra, you know, fantastic predictions that everybody wants to have, but it's barely possible for now. So the Air 3S most likely predictions. Same construction, a little different design and color probably. Same size and weight, maybe a little bit heavier. 22 mm f2 lens with one inch sensor, maybe 20, maybe 30 megapixels with a little better ISO performance and a little better dynamic range and with a physical aperture. 5.4K 30p and 4K 60p with a slight crop in 10-bit recording, basically the same as in the Air 2S right now. Digital crop or zoom in, maybe up to 1.5 times, uh, times, maybe a little more. Also, it will be having a smaller and better controller, maybe even with a screen. I wish they make a smaller controller, guys, because the portability is a thing to me. I travel a lot, as you can see, and I do enjoy using smaller gear in my trips. Also, maybe it will have an extended range up to 8 miles. Once again, hello to m, &M. And better battery life, up to 30 minutes. No more than 30 minutes. 30 minutes is more than enough with one battery. Uh, all around sensors and obstacle avoidance, omnidirectional, but it will be working like the uh, Mavic 2 Pro right now. So the side sensors won't be working in normal mode, only in cinematic mode or tripod mode, and in the intelligent flight modes like the point of interest, for instance. Some better intelligent smart modes, 8 or 16 gigabytes of internal memories, and the set of NDs in the base kit, I hope so and the price around $1,200 to $1,400 for the base kit. 
Let's face the truth, probably DJI won't make uh, the Air 3S, you know, enormously great drone. I think it will have the same uh, video functions and photo functions as the Air 2S right now, but it will have the side obstacle avoidance sensors and maybe it will have a better controller physical aperture, who knows. But all in all, to divide those two drones, the Mavic 3 Pro and the Air 3S, I think DJI won't put anything enormously great in the Air 3S anyway. So these are my thoughts, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Also share your thoughts in the comment section below. Which characteristics and functions are you waiting for in the newer generations of DJI drones? All your thoughts down below. If you did enjoy this uh, view and uh, this content, you can smash the like and subscribe buttons as I say in my videos. And this was Oleg Nikitin. Wait for the Air 2S review. We have some outstanding views right here in Dagestan, Russia. Really one of the most beautiful places on the planet Earth. See you in the next video, guys. Take care. Peace.